Hello, this is News Now from the Belmont Journal, and I'm joined by Lisa Gibilario of the Wayside Youth and Family Support Network, and she is also coordinator of the Belmont Wellness Coalition, and I am Mike Crowley, your host today. So Lisa, in a few weeks, Belmont middle and high schoolers are going to be taking the Youth Risk Behavior Survey. Tell us about the significance of that. Sure. Uh, so as you said, Mike, the survey will be administered to students in grades 7 through 12. It is given here in Belmont every two years. And this survey asks a wide range of questions on students' overall health and well-being. So they'll uh, see questions on basic nutrition, screen time, sleep, bullying, mental health questions, substance use questions. Uh, so a wide array of questions. And I would say that for most students, the survey will take about 30 minutes to complete. Let me ask you this, Lisa, are parents going to have a chance to see the survey to actually read it before their kids take it? Yes, absolutely, Mike. In fact, the school department just this week sent out information on the Youth Risk Behavior Survey. So they sent out a consent form. They sent out links to both surveys, the middle school survey link, as well as a high school survey link. Um, and we really hope in doing that, that parents will take a few moments to discuss the upcoming survey with their kids. Um, did I say the survey will be given at the end of the month? Um, it's, it's the last week in April. So yeah, parents will get to review the surveys and we really do hope they'll talk about them. So let me ask you, what discussions should parents have, you know, if any, in advance of this survey with their kids? I would say they should touch on it. And uh -huh. the, the most important points I think are that the survey is completely anonymous. Answers cannot be traced back to individual students. That's good um, to know. There has been, yeah, there's been some confusion about that in the past, but parents should stress that the survey is anonymous. Um, and also, Mike, just as important, I guess, is that kids should be encouraged to answer the questions honestly. Uh, the data will be used to create programming to support them. Uh, it'll be a, a glimpse into how they're doing. So honest answers are really the only thing that's going to help shape those conversations about how they're doing and potential programming. Now, let me ask you, in your role as a prevention educator, what do you hope to learn from the, um, the Youth Risk Behavior Survey, Lisa? That's a great question. You know, two weeks ago, you and I chatted about very concerning mental health uh, data throughout the country. So I want to see with regard to mental health, how Belmont kids are doing. Um, I'd also, you know, so specifically suicidal ideation, those numbers two years ago were concerning. Um, so just taking a look, are, are our kids feeling more anxious, more depressed, or have those numbers gone down? Furthermore, Mike, I'd like to get a look at the substance misuse numbers. Um, in 2019, those numbers had, from 2019 to 2021, they had dipped a little. And we think one of the reasons that they dipped might have been because the kids were in the COVID lockdown leading up to the 2021 survey. So the lockdown's been over now since vaccines rolled out in 2021. So how are the kids doing? Did we revert back to the 2019 numbers? So mental health and substance misuse, I think, remain for me uh, the two areas that I am most curious about. So I think we're all curious and, um, and um, it'll be really interesting to see the results. Hopefully the kids are doing better, but anything else that parents need to know, Lisa, about the upcoming survey? Um, not really, Mike. Just want to emphasize again, the survey is anonymous. Kids should answer the questions as honestly as they can. And parents should convey that the data will be used to help them. But that's about it. So Lisa, when will we see the results for Belmont? from the Youth Risk Behavior Survey? They will come into the school department's hands as well as the Belmont Wellness Coalition hands this summer. We okay. will uh, work with our evaluator and kind of create charts and, and do some disaggregation. And then we, we will be rolling out the highlights of the data in many places throughout the fall. So I would say for the general community this fall. All right, so we're all looking to, to see what the results are from this year's administration of the Youth Risk 
behavior survey. Lisa, thank you for your help um, in help in in helping us understand and digest this topic. And that's all for now. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.